Hi, Miss Janet here from the Stolo Library. I just wanted to come and read a story. This is Read and Cook with WSPL. So I'm going to read a story, um, and hopefully this will inspire you to cook with your child. This one is going to inspire you to make a strawberry shortcake, I'm sure. But first of all, we're going to read it, and then hopefully you'll be inspired to cook. And we will post the recipe that is um, followed in this book. So this is called Cook the Doodle Doo by Janet Stevens and is illustrated by um, Janet Stevens as well. And it is published by Harcourt Racing Company. So we are um, thankful to them for allowing us to read this together today. So Cook, Cook a Doodle Doo. Let's see what happens in here. Peck, peck, peck. Always chicken food. Day after day, year after year, I'm sick of it, squawked Big Brown Rooster. Can we get something new to eat around here, please? Some is, nobody's listening. What's a hungry rooster to do? Oh my goodness, sounds like quite the dilemma. There's no hope. Oh, wait a minute. Rooster remembered a story his mama used to tell, a story handed down from chicken to chicken, the story of the famous great-grandmother, the little red hen. Rooster rushed into the chicken coop. It has to be here, he said. He looked high and low, and there it was at last, hidden under a nest, her cookbook, The Joy of Cooking Alone by L.R. Hen. And here it is. Rooster carefully turned the pages. So many recipes, and I thought she just baked bread. Look at the strawberry shortcake. Oh, my. That's it. I'll make the most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. No more chicken feed for me. Yes, sirree, just like great granny, I'll be a cook. Crowed Rooster as he pranced toward the big farmhouse. Whoa. Cook a doodle doo, said Dog. Have you lost your marbles, Rooster asked Cat? You've never cooked anything before, said Goose. That doesn't matter, replied Rooster. Cooking is in my blood. It's a family tradition. Now, who will help me? Not I, said the Dog. Not I, said the Cat. Not I, said Goose, and away they went. Hmm, no helpers. Rooster pushed open the kitchen door. It looks like I'm on my own, just like great granny. He sighed and he put on his apron. We'll help you. Rooster turned and there stood Turtle, Iguana, and Potbellied Pig. Do you three know anything about cooking, Rooster asked. I can read recipes, said Turtle. I can get stuff, said Iguana. I can taste, said Pig. I'm an expert at tasting. Well, there's some helpers. Oh, then we're a team, declared Rooster. Let's get ready and start cooking. Turtle read the cookbook. Heat oven to 450 degrees. I can do that, said Iguana. Look, I'll turn the knob. 150, 250, 350, 450. Hey, cooking is easy easy. Rooster put a big bowl on the table. What's our first ingredient? he asked. The recipe says we need flour, said Turtle. I can do that, said Iguana, and he dashed outside and picked a petunia. How's this flour? Do you think that would be good in strawberry shortcake? I don't know. No, 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 said Rooster. Not that kind of flour. We need flour for cooking. You know, the fluffy white stuff that's made from wheat. Can I taste the flour, asked Pig? Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. The recipe says to sift it first. What does sift mean, asked Iguana. Hmm, said Turtle. I think it means to search through. You mean like when I sift through the garbage looking for lunch, asked Pig? I can do that, said Iguana. And he dived into the flour, throwing it everywhere. Oh, my. Messy, messy. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't sift the flour like that. Put it through this 
the sifter. Rooster turned the crank and sifted the flour into a big pile. Can I taste the pile, asked Pig. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we measure the flour. I can do that, said Iguana, and he grabbed a ruler. The flour is four inches tall. Oh, my. No, 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 said Rooster. We don't want to know how tall it is. We want to know how much there is. We measure the flour with this metal measuring cup. We need two cups, added Turtle, so fill it twice. And Rooster dumped the two cups of flour into the bowl. Can I taste it now, asked Pig? Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Next, we add two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. I can do that, said Iguana. He looked under the table. But where are the tablespoons? He looked in the teapot. No teaspoons in here. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't look in the teapot or under the table. These spoons are for measuring. Each holds a certain amount. Rooster measured the sugar, baking powder, and salt, poured them into the big bowl, and then sifted all the dry ingredients together. Looks awfully white in there, said Pig. I better taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we add butter. We need one stick. I can do that, cried Iguana, and he raced outside and he broke off a branch. How's this stick? Is that what they're going to use? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 said Rooster. Not that kind of stick, a stick of butter. And Rooster unwrapped the butter and he dropped it into the bowl. That butter is just sitting there like a log, said Pig. Maybe I need to taste it? Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Next, we cut in the butter. I can do that, said Iguana. Uh-oh, scissors don't cut butter very well. Hmm, what else could they use? No, 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 said Rooster. Don't cut the butter with scissors. Use these two table knives like this. And Rooster cut in the butter until the mixture was crumbly. Looks mighty dry in there, said Pig. Perhaps I should taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now the recipe says to beat one egg. I can do that, said Iguana. What has he gotten? A baseball bat? Oh, no. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't beat an egg with a baseball bat. We use an egg beater. Rooster carefully broke the egg into a dish, beat it with the egg beater, and poured it into the big bowl. That looks tasty, said Pig. Please let me taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now add milk. We need two-thirds of a cup. I can do that, said Iguana. Here, hold that glass measuring cup and I'll saw off a third. We'll use the other two-thirds to measure the milk. Wait, said Pig. Why don't we fill the measuring cup to the top and I'll drink down a third. Hmm. No, 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 said Rooster. The cup has marks on it. One-third, two-thirds, one cup. We'll fill it to the two-thirds mark. Rooster poured the milk into the bowl. It surely needs tasting now, said Pig. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we mix the dough and put it into a greased baking pan. Rooster stirred and spread as Turtle read. Bake in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. I can do that, cried Iguana. Iguana shoved the pan into the oven. Let's see, 15 minutes equals 900 seconds. I'll count them. One, two, three, four. No, 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 said Rooster. And he set the timer so that Iguana would stop counting the seconds. Pig burned his tongue on the oven door trying to taste the shortcake. Turtle studied the cookbook to see what to do next. Let's cut up the strawberries and whip the cream, said Turtle. And they cut and cut and whipped and whipped until... Rooster grabbed the oven mitt off Iguana's head and took the shortcake carefully out of the oven. Oh, it's beautiful and it smells so good, said Pig. I know I have to taste it now. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. We need to let it cool. Soon the shortcake was ready to cut. Rooster sliced it in half. They stacked one layer of cake, one layer of whipped cream, one layer of strawberries. Then again, cake, cream, berries. Ooh, yummy. It looked just like the picture of the strawberry shortcake in the cookbook. 
This is the most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world, said Rooster. If Great Granny could see me now, let's take it to the table. I can do that, cried Iguana. That looks yummy. He yanked at the plate. The shortcake tilted and slid splat right on the floor. Uh-oh. Pig was ready. Now it's my turn to taste it. In a split second, the strawberry shortcake was gone. Every last crumb had disappeared into the pot belly of the pig. Our shortcake, Iguana cried. You ate it. I thought it was my turn, replied Pig. I'm the taster, remember? And it tasted great. But it was our masterpiece, mourned Turtle. And a tasty one, too, said Pig. Now we can make something else. Yeah, Iguana glared. How about a plump, juicy roast pig? Pig gasped. Roast pig? How about Iguana pot pie or, or turtle soup? No, 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 cried Rooster. Listen to me. We made this shortcake as a team and teams work together. But Pig ate it, whined Turtle. Iguana dropped it, pouted Pig. Turtle should have caught it, grumbled Iguana. It doesn't matter, said Rooster. The first shortcake was just for practice. It won't be as hard to make the second time. Well, added Turtle, we don't have to worry about messing up the kitchen. It's already a mess. So who will help me make it again, asked Rooster. Pig, Turtle, and Iguana looked at each other. I will, said Pig. I will, said Turtle. I will, said Iguana. cook a doo doo crowed Rooster. Let's get cooking again. Together they made the second most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. And it was a whole lot easier than the first time. Yummy. So I hope that you're going to try and make a strawberry shortcake. And remember, the recipe will be posted. Take care. Bye for now.